Hi, this is Chaz Palantari, and I got a special episode for you again. I'm going to introduce you to my partner, one of my partners, and he's the one, another one, a gentleman responsible for Chaz Palmentary of Bronxdale Premium Cigars. And this is the CEO, man. This is the man you speak to, and his name is Arthur Barbarian. Correct. Is that correct? Correct. Now, that's Armenian. Yes. yes. Wow. So how does a guy, Armenian, get into the cigar business, Arthur? How does uh, this happen? It's, it's uh, quite a bit of a story. Um, I'm, I was born uh, in Lebanon. I'm Lebanon. Lebanese. Okay. Correct. Uh, from uh, Armenian background. Right. Of course, after the genocide, um, two or three generations, the right. third generation. Um, so my parents, the family was in um, the premium um, luxury uh, jewelry business. Right. So I was groomed since I was 13 years old into become the, a jeweler. the master jeweler. Yeah. Wow. So I have mastered every summer. My, my father would take me to the factory and for three months. Right. Um, would learn actually one aspect of the business. Right. Until I mastered all of them. Of right. course, everybody has a favorite. Right. Um, and then after graduation, uh, they offered me actually to study gemology. That was the missing part. They offered me to either go to Belgium because I was uh, I studied in a French school, so right. I speak French as well. And um, to either go to Belgium, there were two schools, or right. or to come to the United States, to Santa Monica in California. So come on, yeah, why not? <laughs> right. So I chose Santa Monica, of course. And I stayed there since then, in uh, two, 1994, um, with uh, uh, the economy and, right. and what's happening, uh, what was happening in the industry. I chose to go into the wholesale business um, of um, selling tobacco products uh, from there on. But I, there was always something missing. Did you smoke missed, cigars? Did you ever smoke cigars? I, I smoked occasionally, but yeah. I wasn't into that, that right, right. cigar um, uh, scene um, for a while. And then what happened is I missed something. I missed uh, the, the arts and, and the creation and, and the labor intensive and, right. and the vision and all of that and the designs. So I looked into the premium cigar. This is when my love started into the premium. Right. And I started smoking and I'm blending. The, the background of, of manufacturing, in detailed manufacturing fine jewelry, is very close to the same labor as, as in the premium cigar. Wow, that's interesting. So, um, of course, the, the, the tobacco takes much longer than, than of course. producing yes. fine jewelry. Wow. Now... So the the first your, your the main company you had was called your main company was what the one you first founded Xander Gregg Xander Gregg I see and that has been in business for how many years now since ninety five since ninety five so you've been established since then that's that's fantastic right. and then you partnered with I uh, think Epic right you bought Epic yes Epic um, cigars I've known Dean for quite a uh, quite some time right um, and uh, I've been. Watching his his progress and right. and you know there's it, it's very hard to not to find Dean as as a guy that you, to fall in love with as yeah, far yeah, as the character he, as far he's a as worker. a gentleman he's a he's gentleman a, yeah that's important yeah so um so I uh, you know in in 2019 and I saw the some of the um, challenges that he came across right and so I offered uh, to uh, uh, to partner up to to buy the uh, the uh, acquire the business from yes. him, so we acquired uh, Epic Cigars, nice. uh, and but also with the promise that I would want him to stay with us and represent the brand and become right. the ambassador and the voice and the face of Epic. I think that's I think that's important. I think that now when Paulie, uh, uh, you know, when Paulie De Silvio went to Dean. I spoke to him about it. And then Dean came to you. What was your first reaction when he said, you know, we could do is this Bronx Tale, Charles Palmetto, Bronx Tale cigar? You said, well, how did you feel about that? What I wanted to do in, in every connection that you make is the introduction. The face-to-face -face means a lot. Everything. 
Me too. Exactly. It's it's the characters that that will will build the future. So right. once once you you find the the correct individual that's to partner correct. up with, yes, business comes in later on, and it becomes. You're, you're ab- that's why you're very successful. You're absolutely right. I feel the same way. Uh, you could have the best contract in the world. If the guy's not a good guy, you're going to get screwed. If the guy, you could have the worst contract in the world. But if the guy's a good man, he's a mensch, you'll be okay. Correct. So you you go in business with the individual, period. And I feel the same way. I say, let me meet the people. Let me talk to him. Let me meet with them. And then I get a, a better feeling. Uh, so... I mean, what, what I love about you guys is, like you said, being a jeweler, you, you do things very exact. So it's very important that, look, people will buy the cigar one time because of me, but the quality has to be there. I say the same thing about my restaurants. They'll come to my restaurants one time, hoping to see me, which I do go a lot, but they'll come. But if the food isn't good, they're not going to come back. That's why, God bless, the food is great. And and that's why I feel the same way about this. So I, I'm really, really excited about the cigar. And um, like we talked about, it's not just for cigar smokers, right? Exactly. It's for people, because I dedicated to my grandfather, Colodro, who came to this country, always had a cigar in his mouth, we came here with nothing. And, you know, if you think about it, Arthur, that if it wasn't for my grandfather getting on that ship, coming here and... 1904, we wouldn't be here talking. A Bronx tale never would have happened. That is so true. That's so true. So, wow. So that's how important life is. It's like generation. Now, you 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 came here. You come from immigrant family, right? So Correct. You're Armenian. The Irish families, Jewish families, African American families. The cigar is for anyone. Anyone, folks, who came to this country looking for a better life. It's a great Christmas gift. It's a way to say thank you, I think. Thank you to your parents, to my parents, uh, to uh, your grandparents. And, and that's what I love about it. And that's what I love about being in business with you guys. Um, because you do things right. I said, look, I want the box to be really special you know, uh, black, you know, we talked about it, and, 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 and you did it. This is the box, folks. This is it. Uh, Belmont Avenue, 187, Chas Montage, a Bronx Tale, premium cigars. And that's the key word, premium. And you can see how, I mean, this is done the right way. Look at this. And here's with, here's with the little note in. Beautiful parchment paper signed by me for my, about my grandfather. It's a wonderful gift. Uh, I got to tell you, uh, Arthur, like you said, you got to meet the people, got to look them in the eye and say, all right, let's do business together. So I'm happy to be in business with you. Likewise, Charles. A great, Thank you. A great future for both of us. Thank you very much. All right. God bless. Definitely. All right. We'll catch you later. Thanks.